Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Cook with Naki. Yes, we're in the Christmas season and we need to bring some jollof on the menu. Today we are having some goat meat jollof rice. Stay back and let's get started. For our ingredients, we have our jasmine rice, we have our goat meat, we have our onion cubes. This is just regular blended onions. I just put them in the cube tray and I freeze them. We have some salt, some curry powder, and this is my goat seasoning. You can use any seasoning of your choice. My two shrimp tablets, my oil, uh, my scotch bonnet pepper, onion, and crushed tomatoes. I like to use crushed tomatoes when making this type of jollof, but you could use a fresh one if you prefer. I'm gonna start by cooking the meat, and I'm gonna be seasoning the meat with my onion um, cubes and my goat seasoning. Remember, you can use any seasoning of your choice. So I added about two cups of water. This is to help cook the meat faster. And the reason I'm adding more water because I want a lot of stock for my jollof. The more stock, the more tasty your jollof is. While the meat is cooking, I'm gonna blend my scotch bonnet pepper and my onion. So I want to take this opportunity to thank everybody on this channel, all my subscribers, everybody who comes to watch the video, those who like, those who share, those who comment. I want to say thank you so much. Without you, Cook with Naki wouldn't be here. So thank you so much. And if you celebrate Christmas, I want to say a Merry Christmas to everybody on this channel. That is also my prayer that whatever you desire in life, even as we go into 2021, may God richly bless you with it in abundance. All right, also for mommy, let's get to the food. <laughs> I'm done blending my onion and scotch bonnet pepper. I'm gonna set this aside. I'm checking on my goat meat now. It's been cooking for about 20 to 25 minutes. I'm gonna give this a stir, and I think I'm done with my goat, because I don't want to overcook it, because it's gonna continue the cooking process in this stew. But if you're the type that really like tender, like, really soft meat you want to continue the cooking process so it's really tender so at this point i'm just pouring my goat meat in an empty bowl because i'm going to be using the pot uh, to fry the goat meat so i added my oil i didn't wait for the oil to get really hot because the pot was already hot from cooking the goat meat i added my goat meat and i'm going to fry this till it's golden brown and guys if you don't like the goat meat I know not everybody like goat meat. You could use um, beef, um, chicken. You could use fish, especially mackerel uh, or tuna. It's really good when you make mackerel jollof or tuna jollof. So try that and I know you're gonna love it if you don't like the goat meat. And look at our goat meat. It looks so beautiful. It is golden brown and this is the color that I want. I'm gonna take that out and we're gonna continue this too. So jollof rice has become that kind of food that when you're searching in YouTube, guys, you're going to find thousands of recipes for jollof rice. I know in some years to come, it's going to be like a worldwide food. Everybody is going to be eating jollof rice. And the reason why you want to search for my jollof rice on YouTube, because it is easy, it is simple, and it tastes really good. So as you can see, I added my onions, my sliced onions. I let it fry for about two minutes. I'm now adding my crushed tomatoes. So I'm using the ShopRite brand. Guys, this video is not sponsored by ShopRite. Ooh, I wish it was, but it's not. So you could use any brand of your choice. You could use the fresh brand if you prefer. So at this point, I'm adding my blended scotch bonnet pepper and the onion to it. I'm going to give this a stir, and this is going to cook for about 10 minutes. So my stew has been cooking for about 10 to 12 minutes now. As you can see, it starts to splash. So guys, be careful when you're stirring your stew at this point. I'm now going to be adding my fried goat meat. So you could choose not to add the goat meat to the stew. You could serve it with the jollof rice when it's done. But remember, I did not cook my goat meat all the way. 
so this is the point that it's going to continue its cooking process but when you cook it all the way in the beginning you could choose not to add it to the stew also I wanted more flavor to the stew that's why I added it so guys as you can see I added a stack of the goat meat please do not throw that away it has a lot of flavors I'm not adding my shrimp tablet remember you could use any seasoning of your choice you want to give this a stir to make sure the seasoning is well mixed in the stew at this point I'm also going to be adding my curry powder I also added my salt to it curry powder takes this food to a different level guys if you haven't tried jollof rice with curry powder please do because it gives the food some flavor and it tastes really good so I'm gonna let this cook for additional 10 minutes so guys it's been 10 to 12 minutes now and I'm gonna give this a stir I'm gonna add some water to it and we're gonna be adding our rice very soon So I added about 4 cups of water to the stew. The amount of water also depends on how you want your rice. If you want some mushy rice, add more water. But I didn't want my rice to be that mushy. I want it to like, um, eat bako bako. Yeah, so I didn't add too much water. I didn't know how to say that in English. Guys, please help me out. Anyways, I added some salt to it. I'm going to stir this and I'm going to be adding my rice. So I added my 4 cups of rice, this is jasmine rice, uh, you should also know some of the rice do not take a lot of water so it all depends on the kind of rice you are using. So the type of rice I am using doesn't need a lot of water but if you are using like basmati rice or any other long grain rice you have to know some of these rice need a lot of water to cook. So my jollof rice have been cooking for about 10 to 12 minutes now. And the medium heat make sure you cook this rice under medium or low heat you don't want to cook it under high heat otherwise it's gonna burn so as you can see I'm giving this a stir our rice is not done yet you can see there's a lot of water or moisture in it so I'm gonna give this a stir and I'm gonna lower my heat to low and I'm gonna cook it till our rice is done So my jollof rice has been cooking for about 7 minutes now under low heat. Guys, it's almost there. Look at that rice. It still has some moisture in it. I'm going to give this a stir. I'm going to cover this with aluminum foil. And I'm going to cook this till it is done. Guys, look at that. It's not done yet, but look how beautiful that looks. Guys, you see how I'm struggling stirring this rice? I should have used a bigger pan. But hey, it's a lesson. Next time I'll use a bigger one. So I use aluminum foil to cover the rice. You could use parchment paper if you don't like the aluminum foil. And our rice is almost done guys. It is almost done. Get your fork ready. Get your spoon ready. Whatever your hand ready. Yes. <laughs> And our jollof rice is finally done. And look at that. Look at the cover. Look at how beautiful that looks. Guys, it tastes really good. If you want to make jollof rice for this Christmas, yes, I give you a simple recipe to try. Please try this for Christmas and let me know if you like it. I know you're going to love it. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching this video up to this point. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you like it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Please share the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. It helps me out a lot. 
and if you're on this channel and you celebrate Christmas I wish everybody a Merry Christmas I hope you enjoy your Christmas until I come your way next time this is Cook With Nikki be good to yourself be good to everybody it goes a long way